do you have enough closet space? I don't really think you can ever have enough. So let's get in here and see what is possible. So now these are my big clothes here. I have some dress clothes on the top and some casual clothes towards the bottom. I have a little bit of space on the bottom and have some room on the top for some various things like shoes and whatnot. But this is actually a nice, easy project that you can do very quickly to increase the amount of space that you have to hang clothes in your closet. Some tools you should have is maybe a vacuum, hammer, some drill bits, uh, and obviously the drills themselves. It'd be nice if you had some sort of a chop saw or miter saw. A jigsaw would be great too. You're probably going to want a tape measure, a level, and a stud finder. I already have most of the stuff I need for the job, but I will need some construction screws. I'm gonna go with the two inch uh, number two Phillip drive. I only need to span about four feet, so we're gonna go with the six foot closet pull, and it will be one and five sixteenth. So I'm gonna use the scrap wood that I have for free. Hopefully got some laying around. I'm not even gonna use all the screws that I bought. Um, so you, as you can see, for about 10 bucks, that's all this project is. And you might even have an extra closet bar or some sort of dowel rod laying around as well. So we're talking about 10 bucks or less as long as you have the tools like the hole saw and the drill and the saws and stuff like that. All right, well, we need a little bit more space in the master bedroom walk-in closet. And so what's going to happen is on this side, we're going to move it up closer to the ceiling, and then that will give you a little bit more room underneath for another row here of clothes. Whereas on this side, we just have the one row. So, and we also have uh, the entrance to the attic up here. So I don't wanna mess around with moving this side up. But over here, we definitely should have room for two rows. And so the first step was just detaching these little brackets here. I think that this is just nailed to the wall. It's already starting to come undone. And so we'll pry this all off and it's just a closet. So you can see how you can already um, notice how the paint wasn't really fully finished. It's not the end of the world. We're just going to pretty much tear this off, move it up and then install another one down here and we'll see what it looks like. This is actually pretty easy to peel off. Um, just, I can see why it was already starting to kind of come out. It was just nailed to the drywall there. And then here, same thing, probably just take it off. Yep. It uh, unfortunately did a little bit of damage here, but nothing that you can't fix. And then over here, we'll probably have to use a pry bar for that one. As you're prying to get that board off, be careful because you might actually end up marring this a little bit. This is actually not bad at all, but if you're not careful, you may end up, like if you're using a hammer or a pry bar, just punching right through this drywall if you're not up against a stud. So just be careful not to pry too hard on the drywall. The drywall will um, break. So we unscrewed that bracket and just hammered out the nails here and we're probably going to pull those out and just use some screws. What I think I'm going to do is take just what I need here of this board, probably right here, and just cut this off and use the rest of this for the other dowel rod, for the other rack. That way I don't have to use any of my own wood or go buy any wood, and it's simple. So let's cut these right around 15 inches, and then we'll use the rest. All right, so that's pretty much where I want it. And so we will cut that.
All right, so now I have my pieces and we'll probably uh, pre-drill some holes and just screw it. If you really wanted to go crazy, you could uh, screw it and glue it, but I'd like just screws. I think it should hold up fine, especially if I get into the studs. And also that allows me to move it around in the future if I want to, a lot easier than trying to rip glue off the wall. These pieces over here are already designed to fit the dowel in there. But over here, I'm gonna do something a little differently. I'm gonna pick the hole saw that best matches my job, which is right here. And then I'm going to take that and we trace out a little hole here. Then we trace it out here. And this one's gonna come all the way up. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna put this into the hole and then it's on the other side, it's gonna slide down into that notch. And that'll be really sturdy. And, uh, arguably even more sturdy than this situation here where it uh, it was almost fallen out before. So I'll mark the center of each hole. It's about good. Now remember this is not like furniture building or anything. I'm just trying to be pretty good. Alrighty. All right, I'll drill this hole. Careful not to go into the carpet. All right, so now you have this dowel rod fitting into here quite nicely. It's not a perfect fit, but that's all right. And then here, same deal. I just have to cut out right here with a jigsaw real quick. I'm going to pre-drill here just to avoid splitting and also to make my job a little easier when I go to put the screws in. Now I'm not really trying all that much to get into the studs, so it doesn't really matter where I put these. There's that one. And then I'll put one over here. And that's all you really need. So I pre-drilled everything, especially when you get close to the edge. That's really where you need to worry about pre-drilling because if you try to just put a screw in there, it will most likely split the wood. And so you try to avoid that. Uh, I also have one drilled here in the middle and then over here. These ones are going to get three screws and also this will have three um, because this will be holding up the shelf, whereas uh, these guys don't really need as much. It's just going to be holding up the weight of some clothes. Not a big deal. I'll probably just put two screws on, on each of them. And then also to show you uh, as an option, you can see how they did put some glue on the back last time. Here are the pieces that are pre-drilled with the screws in them. I'm using two-inch construction screws. And the hardest part is going to be figuring out how to put them so that everything is level. It's nice if you have one of these portable vacuums so that you can clean up after yourself. So what you can do is uh, measure from the ceiling to where about you want it. And you have to remember that you need room for um, two sets of clothes. So maybe take a shirt on a hanger um, and then figure out about where you want it up here and then about where you want it down here so that you have enough space so that the top row of clothes is not hanging too far uh, down. So what I would do is figure out how you want it um, and then measure down from the ceiling. That'll give you, put some marks, that'll give you a, uh, a roundabout idea of where you want it and then as you hang it, just have a level with you and then uh, make it level. It'll at least be parallel with the ceiling, if nothing else, but I like to make it level. So the other option is that you have your wife hold it for you at exactly the height that you want it at or that she wants it at, and that way you don't have to measure it all. We'll just put a level on top of here, and uh, we need you to drop it down. Drop it down, keep going, go down farther. Go, 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 go. Keep going. And right about there. So that's one way to do it. All right, so that is on there and that is 
very very sturdy this is not going anywhere you can see how it did crack just a little bit uh, even though i did do the pre-drilling um, so that's what i'm talking about just be careful one thing i could have also done is done a little bit of countersinking uh, with a countersink uh, bit and then that would have prevented that altogether but i'm really not worried about it it's not ver it's not structural it'll hold everything i need then you put the shelf in and you make sure that that is supported here in the middle you can push up on it if it's bowing down you also have a location here where you can screw into the uh, bar and you also have uh, the screw here on the bottom uh, the screw up on the top which i can't put in yet because the first thing i'm going to do is screw this screw in all the way um, once i get it where i want it so you got a screw here, a screw hidden here holding this. You got a screw up here. You could screw up into here and into here if you want to. I'm probably not going to. I did choose to screw into here. Um, you could also screw down uh, into here, pulling that nice and flush. The board is a little bit bowed, but you can also screw down there and in the back if you want to. I'm probably just going to leave it so that this shelf can just be removed uh, or moved around but that's always uh, an easy fix if you don't want that. I'm gonna cut the closet bar at about 48 and a quarter. You don't wanna cut it too short and then realize you have to buy a whole nother closet bar, so you should definitely lean on the side of cutting it a little bit too long, and then you're not sorry. You know it's a pretty good fit when it supports itself when you put it in. I might have to trim a sliver off of it, but it's definitely a tight fit. And so what we'll do now is we will figure out exactly where we want to place it so that when a piece of clothing is hanging above it, that it is at the proper height. And we also want to make sure that it has enough clearance on the floor as well. Also, it's good to get the wife's approvals, especially if it's her closet, making sure that it is perfectly aligned and to her specifications. Does this look good? All right, we'll put a level on it and it looks pretty good. Also, we want this to come out about the same on both sides. So up here, it was 12 and a half and up here from the wall, it's about 12 and a half. And so when we do that down here, I'm going to move that over a little bit, and over here, I have to move that a little bit. Yeah, so let's do that. All right, so now we're about 12 and a half inches from the wall on that side. We are pretty much perfectly level, and we are about 12 and a half inches from the wall on the other side. So we are ready. Shouldn't be that hard to figure out how to screw this stuff in considering it's already pretty much supporting itself. All right, so we have it attached here with two screws and we have it attached over here with two screws. If you wanna remove it, you can just push up here and this will pop out and then it'll pop out of the other side. So, should be plenty of room now to hang things. We can uh, test it with a few shirts and whatnot. So you got this shirt here. Now it also depends on the size of your clothes, but uh, then we also have this down here. That's so another reason why we use screws so that we can move it if we ever need to. But then you got enough room for, let's say, some you know shoe boxes. You got just for some reference here. You got three, what maybe four. Four shoe boxes. I mean, you got a significant amount of space under there. Looks like we can fit three shoe boxes up there too. So definitely, we pretty much doubled the storage in this closet, which is awesome. And so another thing to point out, since this is a closet, this is going to be covered by clothes. So I'm not really going to do anything to this, but if you wanted to, you could just get some spackle, spackle over that real quick, uh, throw a coat of paint on it. Uh, maybe use some filler or some caulk on the on the holes and uh, you would be in business if you wanted more of a professional look but first of all nobody's really going to be looking in your closet all that much 
And second of all, your clothes are going to be covering most of this anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, but to each his own. Here's the last shot here of the additional storage, pretty much doubling the amount of stuff that you can hang. Now, if you're hanging a lot of heavy stuff here on this bottom one, you may want to do something like this down here as well. But right now, I'm pretty comfortable that it's going to hold everything that we need. Up here, if you're going to put some heavy stuff, that should be good because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws pretty much holding that in. And we could also put some glue there if needed. But hopefully this helps and keeps you organized. And I know that it was a cheap, easy fix for us to be able to get pretty much double the storage in our closets. We'll see you next time.